Intervertebral disc disease is probably one of the most common diseases that I see as a neurologist. The disc is made kind of like a jelly donut. There's a fibrous outer layer and then there's a soft, squishy, gelatinous middle. As we get older, it's normal for that soft, squishy middle to dehydrate, become hard and not act like a shock absorber. Sometimes what will happen is that disc will degenerate before it's supposed to, and then it will be hard and not act like a shock absorber. So that any pressure on that disc can pop that disc material out of place and it can push on the spinal cord causing really any range of signs. Sometimes they're just painful. Other times they're walking but unsteady. Sometimes they're completely paralyzed. It is more common in small breed dogs, most common in dachshunds because if they're built with that really long back and those short little legs, which makes them absolutely adorable, but it changes the cartilage in their back and increases their risk of having a disc rupture. Disc ruptures though can happen even in large and sometimes giant breed dogs. When we have a dog that presents for a disc rupture, the only way to really get a look at the spinal cord is to do some sort of cross-sectional advanced imaging, a CT or an MRI, depending on what's best. And that'll tell us exactly what we're faced with, where it is, so that we know where to do surgery. It also tells us a little bit about the state of the spinal cord to tell us whether we've got a good chance of bouncing back. Unfortunately, if they're predisposed to having a disc rupture, even if we surgically fix this one, they do have a risk of having more disc ruptures in the future. The severity of signs and response to treatment is what tells us whether surgery is indicated or whether we can get past it with medications and rest. If you're worried your dog might have a disc rupture, it's best to have them evaluated as soon as possible, just because sometimes your vet or our emergency service can help to triage to figure out if this is a surgical emergency that we need to get going as fast as possible or that we can try medications for. 